lost a young man in marriage that uh, was having difficulty due to some uh, mental health issues from my former spouse and some other physical difficulties. And I lived in Iowa, learning to become a teacher of transcendental meditation when due to the mental health issues, we suddenly were found ourselves uh, on a train in January, coming to Chicago uh, with literally one of the shirts on our back. And um, somehow we got the help we needed and uh, the Lord placed me in a job. I didn't have a job, the Lord placed me in a job. Uh, right next to a parishioner of St. Pius X Parish where Barb's uh, ministry began and I was led to this ministry and um, I was at a totally lost. I had been away from the church when I was a young man through college and after college. Finally had come back to it and uh, and I, I came to a service with Barb a few times and finally uh, one time the Lord touched me here because I felt so lost. I didn't know what to do with all the difficulties in my young marriage and how my life had been uprooted and God touched me so powerfully at that service that I'll never forget Barb comes and he pr she prays with people and for those who may be here for the first time often people experience what's called a uh, resting in the Holy Spirit and during that time you might find people resting back in the Holy Spirit please don't be afraid if something like that happens we just go to scripture and say be still and know that I am God and that's when the Holy Spirit really oftentimes finds he does his work on us Crazy. and it was during one of those times that the Lord just filled me with such a Holy Spirit and peace a literal light that filled my head and left me with such peace I had been filled with such anxiety over my future and how I was going to uh, uh, uproot my life and start over and the Lord filled me with his confidence knowing that I am your God and if I, 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 I can give you all that you ever need, and I'll never forget that moment. And since that day, through all the ups and downs of my life, I've had that, I've had that with me. And even as recently as, uh, I haven't got a chance to give this testimony, but as recently as our day of prayer, we had a Christmas day of prayer. I was sick with that flu that I'm sure either if you had it yourself or so, you know somebody who had it, it just was uh, devastatingly going through around our area. So I've been out for a little while, but... Um, you know, uh, at the day of prayer, um, I had been, I'd shared with a few of you before that uh, early in my youth I had suffered with, uh, you know, I brought some, um, back in those days, you know, the manual forms of pornography, we brought it to my house, the old-fashioned Playboy magazine when I was an adolescent, and then a high school teacher who uh, sadly gave out some, a red had his real book that encouraged some things along their lines, why they do these things, I don't know, but I think, you know, sometimes those first sins that are in our life the devil then uses later to try to bring us into an addiction in that area. So that's what happened to me, sadly. And so, you know, I was, so to speak, pruning away at it. I could cut it back, but somehow because that root, I think, had been placed so deep and so early in my life, it was hard to uproot it. And at the day of prayer, Barb's main word that she gave us was, from a story of St. Teresa Little Flower, who um, had what she called her Christmas miracle, where through the grace of the Holy Spirit, she received that change in her life that she need to, needed in her, on her Christmas morning. So I just prayed, Lord, somehow can I have that Christmas miracle to, through grace to really make that change in my life? You know, if not, I, know I felt like I was going to have to suffer with this through my whole life. I would offer it up, but somehow let me have that Christmas miracle. So, shortly after that, our parish had one of those group parish reconciliation services. And this was a sign from God that through this ministry, through this service, our prayers are heard. I had a parish reconciliation service. I was going to confession, and the Lord placed it on my heart when I was in line there in confession to our pastor. I was thinking, you know... As I mentioned, for so many years I was away from the church. This happened in college. I was born and raised Catholic, but I had gone away from church in college. Like so many people in the, you know, 70s when I grew up, 60s, 70s, there was anything to do. And, you know, I never really had confessed all that sins during those times. You know, I mean, like I had no sacraments, no prayers, pretty much free reign of anything else, you know. And, you know, maybe I should make a general confession and this Christ would be a good time. I kind of didn't want it to my pastor. He knows me well. I'm a lector at his church. You know, and I'm thinking that little screen isn't going to hide me from anything. <laughs> <laughs> I almost made both for another another visiting priest was there. But I'm like, okay, no, I'm here. I'll do it. <laughs> so I did my confession and uh, my, you know, absolution penance that he gave me. And this is the God's honest truth. I walked out of the church. I turned in my car. 
And out of my car radio came the words, With God, all things are possible. You can have your Christmas miracle. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the exact words that I had been praying for. So, you know, it's just a sign that through this ministry, the Lord hears our prayers. So with that, what did that give me? That gave me hope. You know, and uh, and just as recently as just last week, on, on the feast day of the conversion of St. Paul, I woke up and I just felt different. You know, Great like that thorn that was in me was Great. pulled out. So I Thank just pray you, that it survives the test of time, and it is a uprooting. It feels like it is. It feels like something's gone. That was Thank you, Jesus. So I, praise I just pray and give honor and praise to the Lord that that, that, that is the same. Amen. 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 Amen.